How to delete NFTs from OpenSea in 2023 updated method. Welcome back to the channel where I'm going to bring you the latest updates and informative tutorials on the world of NFTs. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing in great depth on how you're going to delete NFTs from the OpenSea using the updated method. So I'm going to be showing you the updated method and I'm going to be showing you all in great steps. So let's just dive straight in. Now, before we begin, let's quickly recap what NFTs actually are and for that, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the OpenSea website, which is OpenSea.io. Okay. Now, once you come to the OpenSea website, NFTs or non fungible tokens have taken the digital world by storm. They are unique digital assets that can represent ownership of a piece of art, music, collectibles, and much, much more. OpenSea is one of the largest NFT marketplaces, allowing users to buy, sell, and trade these digital assets. So now, let's get to the main topic. Deleting your NFTs from OpenSea can be a bit confusing, especially with updates and changes happening regularly. But don't worry, I have got you covered with the most up-to-date method for 2023. Okay, so first of all, obviously, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we have a proper account, proper running account, and our wallet is properly connected, okay? So for the account, obviously, as you can see, uh, there, here's my profile and everything, and uh, you can see that I'm signed up and everything. So in my profile, as you can see, I don't currently have a wallet, so I can select a provider and create one now. So log into your OpenSea account, and if you don't have one, Create a new account by following the registration process. Okay, it's pretty simple. Now, once you've logged in, click on your profile icon at the top right corner of the screen and a drop down menu will appear. From there, select my profile as I showed you, just like this. Now, once you do that, uh, in your profile, you will see all the NFTs you own with the wallet you've connected. Now, obviously, I have three wallets on myself, a MetaMask, coinbase and a nami wallet okay so as we can see a metamask and a coinbase is showing but a nami wallet is not showing so obviously it's not exactly necessary for all the wallets to be shown here so it depends on you on whatever type of wallet you're actually going to go with now obviously once you like let's say here's your metamask wallet now once you have your metamask wallet properly running and accessible uh you're gonna see the nfts that you have in that wallet with your um OpenSea website okay now currently on me i don't have any nfts currently but obviously i can give you an example of what all of this is going to look like so you're just going to make sure to add any type of wallet that you want to access so in my case i'm going to be adding a metamask and I recommend that you add a MetaMask too because MetaMask is just extremely easy to use. Now, as you can see, once you add MetaMask, it's going to start uh, bringing you over here through the whole MetaMask page. I'm just going to pin this in the top. Now, as you can see, it's going to say, let's start with MetaMask. So obviously you can import an existing wallet for yourself or just create a new wallet, which I'm going to do. And once you do that, just go ahead with this, create a strong password and do the same down here and again i can't emphasize enough on how important it is to have a wallet to actually delete the nfts because if you don't have a wallet they're not going to allow you to actually delete the nfts for yourself now once we do this i'm just going to go ahead skip all these things and click on got it next done and there we go so now we can see that our metamask wallet is activated now this is obviously the website but you can also uh, open it up from here in the top right where you have your Google extensions for MetaMask. And as you can see, it's opened over here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to OpenSea. And once you go to OpenSea, uh, what you're going to do is obviously they say that you're going to need to connect your wallet. I'm going to click on connect wallet, choose the wallet that you want to connect. And obviously right now, OpenSea might not actually sense that you have Meta Wallet uh, added or MetaMask added. So you're just gonna make sure to reload the pages and everything. And once you do so, what's gonna happen uh, is that you're gonna have the option to link it, okay? 
So just go on MetaMask as so. We're just going to wait for it to open it. Now, once you're over here, uh, you're going to switch to NFTs. And obviously, you can, you can see you have no NFTs yet. But once you link your MetaMask wallet with your OpenSea, your NFTs are going to start appearing on OpenSea and MetaMask because obviously they both are going to integrate themselves. And uh, obviously, you're going to locate the NFT that you want to delete and click on it to open the items page. Okay. Now, obviously, we are going to have to make sure that the NFT that we want to actually, you know, delete, we need to make sure that that is posted on the OpenSea's store. Okay. We know that it's the largest NFT marketplace. And if it's not, uh, you know, connected on the OpenSea store, then obviously you can just delete an NFT from your wallet. Okay. So, yeah, that's what you're going to need for your deletion. Okay. Now, again, to go to the marketplace, you can go to your profile, do the same things that I told you, go to your wallet, locate your NFT. And once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to open the NFT item page. And once you go in the item page, you will find various options and details about your NFTs. Like, you know, let's say you have this NFT over here. You're going to see various details and uh, you're going to look for the edit or manage button usually located near the top right corner of the page okay it's going to be over here once you go to your collections okay it's going to be on the top right corner where it's going to allow you to either edit it or manage it differently okay and once you do that you're going to scroll down the settings page until you find the delete or remove option and you're going to click on it to initiate the proper deletion process okay now a confirmation prompt will appear for you asking you to confirm the deletion read the prompt carefully and make sure you want to proceed and once you're certain click on confirm or delete to finalize the deletion and yeah that's basically about it you've successfully deleted your nft from OpenSea using the updated method for 2023 Remember, this action is permanent, so be sure to double check before proceeding. There is no going back from this. So yeah, that's basically about it. So thank you for watching today's video on how you can delete NFTs from OpenSea. I hope this tutorial has been extremely helpful and provided you with the knowledge that you needed. If you have any further questions or suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. And finally, do not forget to like this video subscribe to my channel for more exciting content and hit the notification bell to stay extremely updated and yeah until next time happy deleting and happy trading in the world of nfts thank you for watching and i'll see all of you next time goodbye